Okay, this is my setup. I'm a used car technician at a Honda dealership. So we'll uh, start with the top box here. Just got miscellaneous shit I got from used cars. Top drawers, just more miscellaneous stuff. Nail polish for like timing, uh, belts and stuff, marking the, the points, super glue. Got my pick drawer. Uh, Cornwell, Snap-on, Matco, it's more Snap-on, cheap craftsman. This is my, uh, my, I guess like long hex and Torx. I don't, I don't have a place that doesn't fit in the top drawer of my box. So got a uh, Allen keys here, bit driver, a couple of bits, universal oil socket, uh, oil filter sockets don't work very well. They're the cheap Arbor Freight ones would not buy again. Some uh, ball and hex, uh, long Torx. These are more long hex. These are low profile Torx bits. They snap into a 12 millimeter wrench from uh, Vim. Move on to the box. So we got the top drawer. Give you guys the view. So we got a uh, quarter inch sockets, Capri Deep, uh, snap on shallow, uh, and that's in the chrome. We got a uh, matco mids uh, these are like fucking o'reilly's super shallows they're pretty pretty small you can put them in an 11 millimeter and it's very low profile we got a uh, astro universals uh just like universal joints and stuff these are magnetic 10 12 8 and uh 12 8 or 12 10 and then uh snap on universal quarter inch and then uh, moving on to our 3 8 we got Snap-on Deep Chromes. Uh, this is like Cornwell Blue Power uh, Shallow Chromes. There's like a deal. You buy those and the Deeps for like 160 something. And you get the Impacts too, which I got right here. So Impacts, I think it's, uh, what, 7 through 19 on the 3 8 Got Snap-on Mid-Lengths, uh, Cornwell Shallow Impacts nano or astro nano sockets uh, you put these on a 17 millimeter and they're super low profile uh, moving on to hex we got what is this it's like five through 16 these two are harbor free that's a tech in and then this is like five through 10 i think the snap on set is maybe it's a six through 10 i don't remember we got uh some standard ones just random sizes we got our mid-length snap on uh metric allen's we got a tamper proof torx here it's just husky e torx um these are lyle triple squares uh torx plus from snap on got some universal e torx uh these are actually super handy for like bmws and mercedes um and we got our just random assorted sockets and then we got our three eighths universals chromes which are I think they're Duralast. They're like Taiwanese made, 20 bucks, and they're okay. I got a O-ring on each one, and they're decently stiff. They're not too bad. Um, they don't see a shit ton of use. Usually I'll grab these. These are my universal snap-on impacts. They're a lot, I don't know, more versatile. I'll use these. If I really, really need these, I'll use them, but majority of the time I'm grabbing these. Uh, just assorted random sockets throughout here. Got some swivel spark plug sockets and shit like that. Uh, these are standard swivel half-inch impacts. These only get used if something's really fucked up. So I don't use them too often, I will say. Some half-inch chromes, never use them. They're just on the tray because it looks cool. Um, these are like assorted half-inch adapters and universal and... Uh, this is a driveline socket for uh, Ford's 12 millimeter hex, half inch. Um, we got some stud extractors, some bolt extractors. Um, I got these for like 25 bucks on Amazon during Prime Day. I uh, haven't really used them much. What I have used, it, it did its job. Um, I don't know. It, for the price, you can't really complain. So on a half inch, we got a, a couple snap on 21, 22, 19, 24. The rest are Sun X. Um, I got that kit for, it was, what is it, 10 through 30, six point half inch impact. 
I think I got it for like 70 something bucks on sale. Super fucking good deal. I'm beating the shit out of these sockets. Obviously you can see some get more wear, 15, a lot of like fucking Ford, Dodge, GM, shit like that. And then I used to be a, I used to work at Toyota. So 19, 21, 22, 24, I've seen some, some abuse as well. And we'll go into, uh, got a half inch impacts and 12 point. This is just Harbor Freight. Um, they do the job for like axle nut sockets for some Toyotas and stuff. We use 32s or 30s. Um, and they do the job, they hold up uh, for 30 bucks. You cannot complain. I think it's probably some of the best value for the price. You got that Astro uh, pinless impact swivels. Uh, I really don't like them. Not much a fan. They're pretty stiff, which is nice, but I don't like how shallow they are, which I mean like, yeah, it's a shallow, it's not a deep, but you know, kind of wish they were deeper. Um, the broaching's pretty, pretty shallow on them. And uh, they seem like they won't hold up super well. I might be wrong. They just don't feel great. They don't feel like the, the snap-ons do, which, I mean, they're not the same price, but it's fucking here and there, you know. Got some uh, cheap E axle nut sockets, Casamon. Figure uh, these costed me like 50 bucks, I think. And if they hold up, they hold up. If not, then I'll spend the money. But when you get into that big, I feel like it really shouldn't matter. Um, got this blue point quarter inch bit set. It's got some Allens, a couple triple squares and some Torx. Really nice set, super low profile, especially when you're doing like, um, I use the triple squares and the Torx a lot when I was doing a, uh, panoramic sunroof on an Audi Q7. Uh, that job fucking sucked, but these made it a whole lot easier. Same with the, uh, the low profile Torx in the top box. Um, and then we got some assorted standard sockets. Don't really ever see any use. It's mostly newer cars I'm working on, but they're there if I need them. Moving on. Got a wrench drawer. Oh, shit. So, uh, assorted standard wrenches. Again, don't really use them, but they're there if I need them. Uh, we got, oh, shit. These cheapy flare nut wrenches. Um, I don't want to buy better ones, and I haven't rounded anything out with them yet. So the first thing I do round out, I will, uh, I'll buy a nicer set. Um, we've got some Cornwell ratcheting stubbies. Uh, I got them for a good price. Uh, if I had to do it again, I would not buy these. They're too expensive. It's 15 locked up on me. It's like a flat spot. There you go. But uh, I don't have a dealer, so I can't even warranty them. Uh, we got snap on double box wrenches 17 19 14 17 and 10 12 i need a 13 15 which just haven't bought it yet i've been cheaping out on it um we got some these are just like the harbor freight universal wrenches just a stupid little buy um got the uh offset wrenches from snap on some really old snap on ones got those from my dad um moving on we got mountain wrenches these things are fucking awesome i use the shit out of them uh torque things down i break bolts loose i know you're not supposed to don't give a fuck it does the job and it does it well uh we got a blue point 8 through 19 set got it super cheap um i think on promo it was like 150 which isn't cheap for what they are but um they say blue point and i like snap on stuff so um 21 up is just pittsburgh uh assorted stuff and then we got the uh, milwaukee rashing wrenches um, I think they're like dual Paul 144 tooth or some shit or like supposed to be 144 position or I don't remember, but, uh, use those all the time. I want to get the flex head ones. They're just so expensive. And I mean, they're great wrenches. I like the feel and everything, but I don't know if it's worth it. Moving on. We got our power tool drawer. Um, I started with Milwaukee. Honestly, I really like snap on. I got the cordless die grinder, the right angle. Uh, 3 8 ratchet the brushless one um not i just recently got this i'm not sure how i feel about it just yet um this quarter inch is my bread and butter if this thing broke today i would uh drive to my snap-on dealer's house and buy another one because this is this has made paid itself off 10 times over easy uh this milwaukee one is broken i gotta send it out well probably just replace it this thing is fucking older than me i got it from my dad as well uh craftsman right angle impact also got it from my dad I don't think I've used it once, but it's there if I need it. Uh, pneumatic die grinder, 
it's always good to have two especially when this thing eats batteries so you know air doesn't run out at the shop so uh, milwaukee quarter inch thing's a fucking beast is what it is everyone knows it uh, milwaukee m18 uh, half inch high torque again fucking beast everyone knows it i don't need to sit here and harp on it, it is what it is i got a snap on air impact don't use it too much but again if the battery's dead on this i'm too cheap to buy another one i got one the battery's dead on this air doesn't run out got a drill Mako 3 8 impact uh 12 volt this thing's fucking garbage i'd never buy it again it's weak as shit uh snap on screw gun again this is the same as the ratchet if this thing broke today i would go to the dealer's house and buy it uh thing is incredibly useful for interior small engine work anything i fucking love the clutch next we got the electrical drawer like i said i do use cars i don't do that much electrical honestly it's a lot of heavy stuff a lot of engines transmissions stuff like that but uh wire insertion tool i've got a project corvette and i saw it on the snap-on truck it's a 84 saw it on the snap-on truck uh, i wanted it so i bought it so maddox re retractable leads they were like 15 bucks for 30 feet you, you can't not buy it um just some assorted goodies cordless or uh what do you call it this is the fucking test light but you don't have to it doesn't have a ground clamp you clamp or you ground it i don't know battery tester uh this is a uh waste drawer i guess i got some bits in here rationing screwdriver doesn't really matter same with this one We've got fluids and blow old cases and on the bond fipg all that stuff in there here i got my rat oh no this is my miscellaneous drawer yeah this is three waste drawers in a row you know i keep my pens pocket screwdrivers abrasives just small shit and then we get to the ratchet drawer so i got a assortment of everything i think snap on is my f well i don't know uh i'm in between snap on and maco um snap on's good but it's pretty thick like the heads are pretty thick and i'm not sure I go back and forth on it, you know. So I got a Cornwell. I got this Duralast quarter inch, which is easily my most used quarter inch. Um, it's one of the, like, 144 position. It's uh, not a super sturdy ratchet. It doesn't feel like a premium ratchet, but it has low back drag, and that does its job. I uh, love this Maco one. Long Maco quarter inch. Worth every penny. Uh, I've got a Tone one. I bought it on sale. I like it pretty low profile um i don't know how i feel about the warranty like no lifetime warranty but it, it does its job smacko long three eights love this thing same with the snap on i fucking hate this flex head i've got two of these you'll see one in the cart i hate this flex head um i think the designer should uh rethink his decisions i'll just say that um i wish i never bought it i wish i just got another long flex head uh three eight store crunch snap on it's just a precision made one um but it says snap on on it so i like that um same with the half inch one and then a long half inch like breaker bar style ratchet uh, which is pretty meaty doesn't get pulled out too often but if there's something sturdy it will so i got some marble freight trim tools uh husky scrapers snap on screwdrivers uh, these are long vim torx screwdrivers um pretty cool for don't use them too often but they do the job this is the plier drawer um uh, i'm not going to say anything about it uh it's not very organized as you can see this is uh the blow molded case drawer i got coolant test or coolant tester uh coolant refiller uh this is the rest of the sonics kit multimeter uh just a little like handheld scan tool basically just to see if the cars are ready to smog that's what i use it for breakout kit uh gear wrench ratcheting screwdriver set disconnect set and uh i think that's about it in here that's all that really matters yeah bolt drawer plastic clips um you know everyone needs one this is my uh, striking striking drawer. So we got uh, all our pry bars in here that will fit in here. Gear wrench, 
uh, ball joint separator, some brass punches. Um, I forgot my, my dad made me on a lathe. Look pretty good for what they are. I haven't used them yet. Got them for me for my birthday, but when I need them, they're there. There's some uh, CV axle like separators. Put it in between the transaxle and axle and the end of the the axle, and he's fucking hammered in there and it'll wedge it in. Uh, I use this for separating oil pans. Um, I've got another one that I want to heat up and like bend it like that. I think there's a, a Lyle tool, but I don't want to buy it. This was three bucks. So some uh, punches, seal puller. Got a bunch of different punches. Nothing too great. It's all cheap shit. Uh, pickle fork. Got my batteries and lights and stuff. And uh, this is a spare parts drawer. We've got a transfer pump. This is like a oh, there's a wheel puller, a steering wheel puller. It's a pressure tester, and then this is the brake tool like screw inset. And then moving on to my little cart. So we got all the magnet shit up here. Um, you know, just for holding bolts and stuff. This is where I will wheel around the shop when I'm, uh, cause I got two stalls here. I got this stall and that stall and I'll, uh, take this and wheel it over there put it next to that workbench right there and, uh, do my work. Oh, it's supposed to be another thing. So I love this snap on line, by the way, this is, it's pretty expensive. I lost my streamline. I bought this to replace it. Um, does a kick ass job. I would buy it again, hundred percent. Um, got this flex impact driver. Uh, there was a tool outlet by my house that had a deal for, I think it was like 89 bucks for this and two batteries. So I was just like, oh, fuck it, I'll give it a try. Mm, I'm not sure how I feel about it, but it was 89 bucks. So it is what it is. Um, we got ratchets up here, a couple quarter inch, three eighths, another long, that other long snap on three eighths flex head. Love this one. Put this one through the ringer. So other ratchets, extensions. We've got our hammer drawer just a snap-on hammer or some harbor freight ones uh, i gotta get some bigger ones so they do the job though some more picks small screwdrivers a little cobalt set of screwdrivers i just wanted to get another set to carry around in this thing so i wasn't running back and forth this uh, i just got a thing for pliers drawers man i i hate organizing them it is what it is um these ones i got the big ones too and in the the other messy drawer fucking love these things these things do everything i i pull connectors with them i pull fucking anything i need honestly these the little ones i use more than the big ones um these things are one of those tools where if i broke it i'd go get a warranty immediately i could drive to the guy's house it's that serious so we got some uh, craftsman long pattern gunmetal wrenches uh they're like 40 bucks at lowe's just wanted to try them out i like the craftsman name this was a little bit before my time but i would like them to be cool fortunately they're not uh, these wrenches are actually not that bad though uh, they got a little actually i just grabbed the one that's all fucked off on the end but they got like a little ridge kind of like a snap on flank drive but uh they're pretty long. they're pretty long they do the job i haven't stripped anything out with them um, they don't see too much use because they're in the car but these are uh thin wrenches they're like 15 bucks on amazon i just needed a, a cheap set to hold the caliper pins like when you're tightening them down that little nut on the back side uh ratcheting flex head wrenches again 50 dollars on amazon i cheaped out on these because they were gonna be for the cart and i knew it um i'm so impressed with these i've beat the living sh and obviously not this one it's an 11 millimeter but like 15, 13, 12, 10, and I'd say like 17. I have beat the fuck out of them. And they are still rock and rolling. And they're still relatively, I'll grab the 15. Still relatively uh, stiff, not too bad. It doesn't fucking wobble too bad. So we got a, love this kit too. This is just a Vim kit, but it's on it's branded Cornwall super nice uh, does all the interior work i need that plus this and this thing does it all and then uh lastly we got our cart socket drawer so remember how i told you about that that cornwell deal well i bought it twice so i got 
Cornwell, uh, 3 8 impacts, uh, 8 through 19, or 7 through 19? Yeah, 7 through 19. And then I got a, the same for the Chrome, 7 through 19, Cornwell, deep and shallow. Uh, these are quarter inch shallow and they're husky. I bought a husky set. So I got quarter inch shallow, quarter inch deep, some Torx. And then uh, all these are husky too. They all came in that set. So I got, well, except these Torx are Icon, but I got these Icon Torx. Um, not bad for the price, 40 bucks, I think. And they're holding up pretty well. I'd say these Torx probably see more use than my Snap-on ones just because they're in the cart and I'm usually around the cart. Um, we got some Husky Hex, uh, standard and metric, bigger sizes, standard and metric. A couple e torque sockets just because you need them. Like retract the uh, parking brake on the the ones with the fucking the electric parking brake. You got to screw it in. So I usually keep those. Same with these torques. They'll do that job. Yeah, half inch torque wrench. The husky one. Super old, but it's just for torquing wheels. And then uh, daily driver snap on three eighths. This thing is uh, one of my most favorite ratchets, and it probably sees the most use. Um, back when I was first started a Toyota I bought this, this is my first snap-on tool I bought uh bought it for oil changes so it's been around since pretty much the start of my career and uh should be it I got a slide hammer under there but I don't have a locker yet I want to put one right here oh I guess got that cornwell big mallet and the bigger husky uh pry bar I want to put a locker right here so I can put all that shit in there but uh, the lockers for these classic series are like three grand or no i think they're closer to four and i do not want to spend four grand all right hope you guys enjoyed